Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. We're in, we're in the middle still of emptying out this old uh, ingot drop-off slash plate pickup to replace it with the new system. Or rather, we've already uh, somewhat replaced it with the new system. The LTN ingot pickup is going to be over here, and then here we'll just do uh, LTN ingot drop-off plate pickup. Going to take just a little bit longer for the trains to get the old stuff out of the system. I think they're dumping this in the mall, yeah. And this one's already empty. Fantastic. Uh, that train's actually just right now going for its last trip. Oh no. Uh, I think we might be out of storage space for the moment. Yep. There's also a lot for the bots to do here, right now. Uh, in any case, this train can stay there for now. So that we can decon this. And... I think we figured out that that part is going to stay the same. Okay. Should probably head back over there. Use the teleporter this time. Back into the mall we go. And this thing's still not empty. Well, in any case, let's recycle the locomotives. Get in my inventory. And how much longer till this finds room? The bots are hyper-focusing on whatever's being requested right now. Hmm. I guess we'll give him a hand. So much left. How much room is in these chests still? About half. Okay, that's the last of that copper. And that should be it. And the train should be empty by now. Alright, that'll do for the moment. Uh, don't need these right now. I guess just... Just toss them in here and they'll get sorted. And back to the build. Still got some iron remaining. Train should be on its way back and that'll be the last trip. Fantastic. And this should be the last trip for this one. Uh, I wonder how this ended up on the floor. I think usually that appears if we remove the rail, but I don't remember doing that here. It's like there's an inserter constantly trying to place an item on this tile. It's just invisible. Alright, that one's gone. Remove. Oh, is there no way... No, there is. It's right here. For this train to come in. And that should be the last of it. Okay. 
now we grab our new blueprint. Which I can't remember where I put it, to be honest. Oh, is it just in the editor? Yeah, I don't know if we blueprinted this yet. Uh, let's see. I think this would be where I would have put it. Let's make a blueprint for it. So it's literally just ingot to plate. Okay. Blueprint. Ingot plate. Ingot to plate. Snap to eighty six twenty five one. Don't forget tiles and train stop names. Come to think of it, did I even give these train stop names? No. They are switched off. That should all be switched off in generic anyway. Uh, do we want to? Interesting choice. Oh, I think I just forgot to copy that across. Okay, so short trains or long trains should be fine for this. Uh, let's say provide stack threshold... I don't know, 110. That should be plenty of access to make sure we can't run out of items while belts push them. And... Don't really care if the... Providers are switched on to start with. Long trains only. Request stack threshold 100. We do want that for the drop-offs. And we've already done that wiring. Fantastic. Alright. Blueprint. And ingot. Plate. Cars, train stop names. 86.25.1. And... I mean, the modules will vary depending on what we're putting there. It's not super important that they're that fast, probably. But that'll do. And we'll put it in about the same spot. Okay. Oop. There might be some bots stuck over here. There are not. Fantastic. Dino dance, dino dance, dino dance, dino dance. Dino dance. War Striker, thank you so much for the three months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We'll probably just toss in tier six modules for now. Why do we not have a beacon two? Because this is not the construction train, that's why. Uh, we do have a lot more plate left over here than I would have expected. Huh. I would have thought there'd just be some dregs left over in uh like in the invisible inserters holding onto them in the bulk rail loaders. But apparently I missed some. Or maybe we picked them up earlier. That's fine. Let's put the iron and copper in the same place as last time, because why not? Oops. And you've only got this stuff remaining. I may as well take it. That way the system back home doesn't have to sort that. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. And grab this. Alright. 
So I think we've got all the floor we need. We should get the construction train involved. Over here, please. And we'll probably just grab some tier 6 modules for now. I'm not that concerned about maximizing the speed of these things just yet. It should still be most of the capacity of these belts. Uh, and we'll want to do the same thing over here. Did I already switch these off? Kind of, yes, because we don't have the vanilla trains delivering this stuff right now. So there won't be as much stuff to move or shuffle around. Okay. Let's go with... I don't know. Bunch of speeds in here. Some number of efficiencies until this says not a massive amount of power. That'll do. So how fast is this if we do iron plate? Uh, 20k per minute. 334 per second. Which is 3.71 belts. Yeah, that's fine. If we really get serious later and don't want to duplicate too many blocks, maybe we'll put, like, tier 7s here or something. If I recall correctly, the copper is even faster. 600 per... Yeah, it's 600 per second because that's the limit uh, of the machines with the frame rate of the game. Uh, 60 units per second... Uh, we can't have it spit out more than 600 items per second, apparently. So 10 units... Oh, I think it's maybe... No, it wouldn't be the input that's, like, frame rate limited. I wonder why 600 per minute... Uh, per second. If the UPS is normally 60. Anyway, let's name these... Properly. Copper plate provide. That's not what I meant. That goes there. Iron plate goes here. And from here we can just request ingot. Uh, 50, 100 is one train load. Let's go for three. And before we switch that on, make it Iron Ingot Requester. Goes into Manufactory. And out comes Plate. And we'll go for the same formula over here. Copper Plate. From Copper Ingot. And it's going to be the same stack size, is it not? Yes. Should already be a train on the way here. Fantastic. That's iron and copper. What else did we have here? Holmium and iridium. That's not the copy-paste I was looking for. Alright, iridium plate, no this should be holmium plate, and iridium plate, cool, oh. stack size 50 again, and switch on. And this one's a bit weird. Stack size 20. So 6k is three train loads. Uh, 
Uh, and I believe we already ported over this much. Yeah. So that should sort itself out pretty soon. I'm not sure if I named these stations yet. Nope. We'll do that after the trains have stopped moving. Otherwise it can interfere with their schedules. And then we just need to... Well, technically we don't need to. Name these two. And there's no need to change settings here. Because we're using stack thresholds. Alright. Give it some speeds. Set the recipes. This one's a lot slower. Only 83.5 per second. Less than one belt. Well, that's kind of surprising. I knew it was slower, but... Didn't know it'd be that slow. How far could we go with higher tier modules? The thing is, uh, the beacon in the middle is not going to line up perfectly with all... If we start doing different, uh, different amounts of speed modules in these things. Whatever, we'll just go fast for the fast ones, or rather for the slow ones, plus 100%, minus 80%, 400 kilowatts for crafting speed 120, or 125 for 4 megawatt, I think I prefer this ratio, and if this was Iridium Plate, we would still only need two belts here. Alright, I'm going to trim away a couple of these belts. Actually, leave that one. That should be fine. I mean, that's more than two... That's two... Two and a quarter stacks per second is pushed by the belt. That's pretty fast. Okay, so that one's done. Now we move on to the next one. And I think in this case, I wish I'd brought some more floor. Uh, let's get the floor train back. Because rather than sending all that stuff back to the mall, I think I'd rather just make some temporary containers. to shove things into. Shouldn't there be a lot more demand for the Holmium plate up here? Oh, there isn't 110 stacks there yet. 334 per second, and this moves 180. Yeah, I was going to say, if there's already like 130 stacks here, and we're not getting a delivery, I don't know what's going on, because I'm pretty sure there was a demand for Holmium plate. Okay, now I don't know what's going on. Is that how little it took to saturate it? Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Apparently we're belt bottlenecking on the blue circuits here. We probably designed this for a smaller for smaller modules. 21.9. No. There should be just enough uh, processing units on this belt. Oh, I see. It's just the erratic nature of the inserters and the fact that they're a bit slow. We should redesign this at some point, but it's been materially bottlenecked since the dawn of time, so we haven't been too worried about 
this kind of bottleneck for the moment. All right, can we get some more plate, please? In a spot that's quite obviously not part of the build. And we'll just grab a few. Do we have some big ones? We do. Shove all the iron plate in there. Um, must be a little bit left over. Oh, there's ingots? No, there aren't. There's just a few left here. Alright, give me that. Iron plate goes here. Steel plate. Maybe I should belt it. Uh, it's gonna take a minute. Let's just even destroy this thing. And then unlimit. Get the last dregs. And then... Forbid, I said forbid, even distro, drag it across, and voila. Nice and easy. Construction train might be out of range for this. Uh, but let's put the barrel here for now. I guess I'll just grab this and a bit even distro. Fantastic. Should grab these inserters as well. Well, no, that's fine. And same deal for copper plate. And forbid. And distro. And get the last little bit of it. Damsel, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How was the rest of your stream? I couldn't really watch that much today. I was uh, sick and having to work. What a lovely combination. Not feeling too, too bad, but, you know. It was great. I must have just missed you. Oh, that's unfortunate. If I'd started when I was meaning to start, despite the delays, maybe, maybe I would have caught you in time. How's the voice holding up? It, it's, it's getting better, yeah. Um, I don't have a sore throat or anything. Although I guess I should be careful not to, not to go back to that. Try and use the energy saving voice today. But yeah, I'm I'm less uh, less exhausted today. That's nice. Starting to actually be able to have some fun again. But at least, sorry, you feel bad. Yeah, it, well, it'll mostly pass. RF Holloway, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Spellivator hype. Yeah, I did catch that. Congrats on the Spellivator. Why am I manually picking all this up? Probably because the trains will pick it all up. Which is going to get awkward when the construction train gets too full. Let's park it out of range for a sec, and then we'll use the floor train, which has quite a bit of storage space, to pick all this up temporarily. 
Yes, I got Spell Evader, finally. You said it was... Was it... How hyperbole was this? Um, you said it was like a million hours. Not literally, I don't remember the number, but you said it was like... X... 150 hours or something in. Can finally get rid of the 700,000 steel I have in storage? From shipping barrels, oh my god. Okay, um, yeah, I think we can do it like this for the moment. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for storing in the train. Or more to the point, the bots storing things arbitrarily and then running out of room in a specific carriage. Just a little bit of steel. Yeah, things get out of hand sometimes. Okay. And then we'll grab our new blueprint once more. Right about here. So much... well... It's a significantly cleaner build than the last version. Uh, and once more with feeling. Can't wait till we don't have to do this anymore. Also, I did see the triple F about the combinators. Very exciting. Honestly, if that was patched in, like, tomorrow, I'd have to say, okay, GG, we're, we're done with this one. I gotta, I gotta update. And if I'm gonna update, we should probably, like, start something new. Welcome in Glacier Wolf, by the way. Alright, uh, that's it, right? We can bring the construction train back. We can bring the construction train back. Why did I do it? Why did I just click that? Okay, skill issue. And... We'll stick with iron... At the northwest. Oop. Copper. Should have kept that one there so I could copy paste. Copper, like this. And I just did the same thing again, didn't I? Well, good thing I have one of those speedy scroll wheel toggles which I had far too much fun flicking on and off for no reason with like the first mouse I had like this and eventually it kind of semi broke don't do that oops eh, that's fine I still have some ingots in my inventory. And apparently the construction train is out of... Deep Space Belt. Do I have enough modules for this? Probably, maybe. Maybe not. Alright, speeds. Efficiencies. I think it was like 50-50, right? Plus 500, plus 200. No, it's like 51 rounded up percent. Alright, construction train is going to do a derp. But I think we have enough room here. Oh yeah, it's fine. Give that back. And send you on one more lap. Oops. So that we get the belts replaced. Now, um... So this again is going to be iron and copper. This one is steel. And this one is beryllium. And what kind of speeds are we looking 
I should have checked it over here. Steel and beryllium. I think steel is probably going to be another one that's so slow that even with tier 9 modules, we can remove some belts. 240. A bit faster than I thought. 2.67... Uh, 2 and two and two thirds of a belt. I'll just leave it as it is. It would look weird having only three. And I'm pretty sure beryllium is just not that slow. Oh. Wait, is beryllium as slow as steel to turn into plate? Crafting speed, 120. Power, yes. Yeah, they're the exact same speed. I did not know that. Beryllium has a stack size of 200, so it's effectively twice as slow as the steel. As far as our trains are concerned. Hmm... I don't think we need that much beryllium plate flying around, though. Anyway, uh, we can definitely just copy-paste these for the north side. And for the south side, just gotta swap a couple of icons. What are we working on today? Uh, I am updating the system that I had for turning ingots into plate in... LTN, which originally I had the vanilla train schedules, like the dedicated train for Holmium ingots drop off right here, and then it would turn into ingot, well, it would not turn into anything, it would still be ingot offered to LTN, uh, and then we would have plate offered to LTN, but it doesn't fit very well with the new system, and I don't want an individual train for each ingot type. Um, so instead, we've got this train schedule, uh, can do all of these, and, and then these are just available to LTN, so LTN will bring them, uh, bring them over to the converters. It's not perfect, but it, it uh... Fits in much more neatly with the new system. Uh, and this one is a beryllium ingot. Or plate, rather. Beryllium plate. Uh, and this was steel. Oh, wait. I want to copy this uh, formatting. Steel ingot to plate, and holmium ingot to plate. No, this is beryllium. What a memory I have. Okay, these are already requesting, and over here we want 300 stacks of steel ingot. And 300 stacks of beryllium ingot. Fantastic. And that should also get rid of some of the excess that we dumped in the mall. I forgot about this train. I should go fix that. All right. Back to the mall with you. And the construction train's already returned. And we already have the ingot tags in place because we had this build here before, or the old version. Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Good to see you again, Veldak, Turtle. 
We've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Always good to have to have a scratched furniture and slept on pillow. Wait. Wait. Blue Lightning, thank you so much for the 23 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. All right, let's decommish, and then another train is going to come in for the same thing. Uh, are we actually ready to... I think we are to remove all six blocks over here. of the old bring stuff up the elevator system where we had one train schedule per item. Took up just a little bit more space and more importantly train schedules. Look at how empty these vanilla train uh, depots are. Because that's how many we had with almost all of them just sitting idle almost all the time. Wow. Wow. We've still got fluids on individual schedules, which uh, I think we, yeah, we already designed a new one. I think I probably looked at trying to make fluids work the same way, where we could have a single train bringing multiple fluid types up, but I just didn't find an elegant way to fit it together. We could maybe revisit that. We'll have a look at the blueprint. Past judgment on our last iteration. Oops. That's what I was afraid of. And I don't need this, I don't need this. I've been carrying this around forever for no reason. That's a lot of medpack fours. I don't even remember making these. I guess we can drop these. That's fine for now. Oops, that's fine too. I need some more SRF. Don't need purple or blue belts right now. In fact, I don't need to carry these as a matter of course, in any case. Where would I even be keeping solid rocket fuel? I don't think there is anywhere at the moment. Still haven't tidied up this mess. Okay, that'll do for the moment. And what were we about to do? Go clean up all these old trains. And train stops. Um, I could empty the floor train for this. I might actually do that. And we'll have it come and act as a deconstruction train. Lord Saru, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Got any thoughts on the latest Triple F? Love it. Very excited about the uh, Decider Combinators. That's going to reduce... Oops. Uh, that's going to reduce Combinator counts by just a gargantuan amount. I will admit that I'm a little sad that I see this news a uh, relatively short time after figuring out how to save a bunch of Combinators. Uh... When you've got like a bunch of, well, not that many combinators. When you've got a bunch of end conditions, you can do them in a chain like this. Um, as opposed to like, combinator, combinator, they both output one green and this one says at least two green or something like that. But much prefer, much prefer to have, why are we stuck? 
I'd much prefer to be able to put tons of logic on one decider combinator. And it has lots of options to spit out outputs, like specific output signals and automatically filtering out um, outputs that you don't actually want. It's fantastic. I thought how much easier it is to sort things now for Arcospheres. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I actually... God, I, I want to... When does that actually ship? When, when do we get to play with that? Because I'd love to start a tutorial series the moment that comes out. So that there isn't anything that needs to be relearned. Um, also, I should be focusing on the trains here, because they're the one thing that it doesn't make sense to do remotely. Probably in summer 24. Let's hope we make it that long. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Okay. But yeah, very, very excited to see that. Um, I didn't quite follow, like, in detail... What was that new combinator called? Sorter or something? Not Sorter. It was like a... It was supposed to, like, stack a bunch of signals and pick through them one by one or something, right? Selector, yeah. I'm not entirely clear on exactly what the selector's supposed to do, but it sounds like it might be exactly some functionality that... Or, or be, it maybe lead to some functionality that I wish I had for trying to do the spaceship dispatch system. So that we could c compare a bunch of sets of signals uh, and then pick the one that has the highest priority based on this or that uh, criteria or set of criteria. Wasn't clear in it either. Allows you to find min and max easily. Yeah, I noticed that. I figured... Um, that's the first thing I thought of, is, oh good, min or max is going to be one set, one combinator instead of like, what was it, 12 or 15 or something? Was the cleverest, that is a lot of stuff. Um, wasn't expecting this. Can we borrow this train? And where the heck is my player character right now? Whatever. Park it. You know what? Just park it here and I'll manually uh, put things in. Wait until item count. I wish I could do any with the item count. I guess we'll do charged. Greater than zero and inactivity. Stack size is good. Yeah, I saw that. No need to have some map in constant combinator. It looked like you sort a list and they're and are able to select the nth entry in that sorted list. Sort by number and output the third highest. Yeah, in any case I'm sure it's got a lot of potential for things that we couldn't have done before without many steps. Let's put it that way. Actually, could you please come back after you do this? Wait, what? Are you stuck? There we go. Um, come back and do this once more. And that might be enough for the rest of these trains. Three stacks, well, up up to three stacks, but probably three stacks per locomotive, and that's just for the space power uh, space train power packs. Might run out of space again. And 
Cube. Random input can help resolve collision on the broadcast between planets. Yeah, that's cool as well that they have... Well, I was thinking of it more for testing purposes, but uh, that is really cool that they have some random inputs as well. And also... Uh... Damn, I lost my train of thought. Um... What was the other little feature that caught my attention? Random inputs... Where's that train? Oh yeah, the display. Like, not having to mouse over a lighted pylon... Well, a power pole with a wire connected to it. Uh, to be able to see what inputs are currently happening at all times. For a combinator. That was great. Or will be great. It's going to be so much easier for people to learn and debug. Oops. The display is huge. Yeah, it really is. Sorting will allow to choose one signal when loading a rocket, for example, but the problem could be the same signal is always highest. No other signals will get a chance. Random input to the rescue. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Let's get our for the moment drafted as deconstruction train. Um, and we'll get it to do a couple of laps. Mark all of this for decon. Make sure we didn't somehow mark a train for decon. Once we get a frame. There we go. And same thing over here. Actually, I'm sure the floor train can carry all of this. Even with the space platform, uh, the scaffolding rather, should be easy enough. Here it comes. Now why is there a train sitting over there? Just a little bit of traffic, that's fine. Can't wait for red-green wire in future arithmetic combinator. Uh, I so hope I could multiply signals from white, red wire with matching signal on green wire. Oh, you can discern which which wire input it's looking at? Uh, so when are they adding the blue wire? Hmm. When's when's that? Just 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 asking. Haven't announced any blue wire. I'm shaking, crying. Alright, do we have room for... Yeah, I think we do. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab this as well. Is that all in range still? Oh, I'm down here, but also yes. Oops. Hurry up. I wonder if... There's no way we can do all this in one trip, right? Or well, certainly not. M maybe four blocks. Maybe. They showed only decided combinator. Now we'll have red or green checkbox. Uh, check but it looks like other combinators will get it as well. I didn't remember the checkbox. A 
little yappy dog is not loud enough to break the noise gate. I can live with that. You can say you want to red signal input from red wire, green wire, or both. Same for output. That's excellent. But what if we want to hear Yappy Dog? Uh, I'm sure if you search Yappy Dog, uh, I, 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 I'm going to guess it's not difficult to find. You can you can add your own Yappy Dog. That was my philosophy with music on stream as well, but uh, Factorio has some background noise all the time, which I notice is very noticeably absent from like Slay the Spire, if there isn't music. How much room do we have left in... We don't. No, we do. They're just taking their time to recharge. Well, um, that's fine. Just go back already. And then come back and park over here. Wait indefinitely. Did you just try to deconstruct yourself? I cannot self-terminate. That should just about not do it. Uh, how many more of these are we going to have to do? And over here. And over here, oh my goodness, it never ends. Okay, but also here. Let's go get him. Actually, I'm not flying right now, am I? That might be a little dangerous. As I'm on a mobile phone, I do feel a little sad about no background music, but I might hate it if your music taste doesn't overlap with mine. Yeah, and the more people are watching, the the more some people are not going to be happy with the music. Although, I mean, any two people... It's kind of hard to always pick something that they're both going to tolerate, right? You can go. Floor train should be... Uh, should be coming back. Uh, or is it disabled while it's in motion? No, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. I guess I'll turn off my RoboPort for the moment. Welcome in, d -hose. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Will we ever see Oni again? I don't know. I got really burnt out on it. It was always, like, fighting the duplicants to get things done as well. Like, belligerent construction bots with no attention span. Especially in those games, the rule is the days are always so ridiculously short that they spend a lot of their time just walking. Oops, no, 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 no. Uh, like this. 
RimWorld used to be a lot worse for that, I remember. To the point where if you had an attack coming in and you got... You, like, trying to time things so that you would get your... your townsfolk ready for a fight before the enemy arrived, but also so that they wouldn't, like, get tired and hungry and shaking and crying and throwing a tantrum before the enemy actually got into position uh, for them to start shooting was actually pretty difficult. Can understand that? Yeah. Alright, so I think that is the end of the old bringing things up the elevator system. Nope, there's one over here, but we're close. How much room do we have left? Probably enough to do all the rest of it in one go. While that's happening, uh... While that's happening, Damsel is resubscribing. Thank you so much for the 13 months. Very much appreciated. Alright, let's go to here. And... And your prime sub, no less. Dino Dance Best Emote. Okay. Um, while we start getting this sorted out... Let's jump into the editor and have a look at the new version of the fluid thing I came up with that I don't remember. That'll do for the moment. Okay. Make way, s'il vous plaît. Rouse. Actually, I should just delete this. And then we're not going to miss any pieces. Okay. So, fluids. Version 2 up. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is two? Yeah, I think this might be as good as... Uh, um, uh, this might be the best we can do. No. Hold on, what? What? What is... Oh, yeah, I see what's happening here. Yeah, so we do make it one train schedule to handle up to two different fluids. Um, these wires detect which type of fluid the train wants to drop off. Read train contents. We've got barrels here just as a kind of placeholder that's not going to cause anything to happen. So water would go up here. Uh, crude oil would go here, and we have a, let's see, water, water, oil, oil. Yeah, we've got two pumps for each fluid type, for each fluid wagon, and four pumps for pickup. I like this a lot. I don't think we're going to manage to make it much more compact, but also fast and functional. Not putting, uh, not pumping things straight into a big container uh, is significantly slower. The more pipe sections between the pump and the big storage tank. Uh, so this one is going to unload faster than this one. So we should put the faster fluids here. But with 
Only a handful of pipes between them. It shouldn't be too bad. Well, I say that, but like... We've seen how much worse it can be when we've got something like... Like this. Instead of pumps that go straight into the big container. But I don't think we need that much uh, fluid throughput for stuff that comes upstairs, for the most part. So we're going to want to grab all of our vanilla scheduled fluid trains and give them a vacation. Uh, why don't we park them over here for now? I don't really want to mess with matter just yet. Matter's a special case because we're using it for power as well. Also, bio sludge. Oh, I see. This is bio sludge storing slash deleting. Apparently, we're not deleting it fast enough because... Because this, this stuff's always full, it seems like. I guess we could extend this down here. Hmm. Uh, storage, bio sludge. How many places are trying to output bio sludge as a byproduct and can't get rid of it right now? This is a drop off. Nowhere, actually. So why... Why are we currently deleting it? And this is chockers. But there's nowhere that's got too much bio sludge that it wants to get rid of right now. That's kind of weird. I'd kind of like to refactor this. It's a bit of a mess. In any case, we can start with these. Um, so we're not bringing... Oh, we are bringing up heavy oil. Heavy, light, petroleum. And lubricant. Let's do those four basics together in one place. Uh, say heavy light, petroleum, uh, uh, lubricant petroleum. But first, we need to grab these trains. There should only be one for each fluid. There'll be significantly fewer when we're done with it. Acid, heavy oil, mm, how about over here? L light oil? I was about to say lubricant. That's not quite right. Okay. Next. That can't be all. Vitalic acid. Uh, what happened to nitric acid? Here it is. Park yourself over here. And check, 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 check. I think we've done, uh, and we did this one as well, right? That should be everything but Cryonite Slush. Is Cryonite Slush train busy right now? 
Oh, yes it is. Check, indeed. Alright, we'll grab you. He keeps changing his mind over which uh, space elevator he wants to go up. We should probably put a few more. Like, at least a couple more space elevators. Maybe like here and here. In any case, that's our train over there. We can't get it to go here, because... Yes, we can. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one of these are we missing? Lubricant? There's lubricant. Trying to act all nonchalant. Okay. So now we can start messing with these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heavy, light, uh, petroleum, nitric acid. There's petroleum, nitric acid, lubricant, vit, vitalic acid, and trinite, and I can't remember words. Sulfuric acid. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to either make a temporary storage for these or delete a bunch of fluids. I think we can probably make a temp storage, especially for, for example, vitalic acid. That's a lot more precious than, say, oil. Uh, but if I put this here, yeah, it we we can definitely fit some storage tanks here-ish. Maybe not like that though. Hmm. Hold on. I'm just gonna undo this. Can that actually... Okay, so right where the floor ends is exactly two huge tanks away. It'll be a good spot for a temp. Is this train full? It is. Why is there... Oh no, why are there still iron beams here? Oh no. Um, okay, cancel this decon. Unlimit this. Give me these beams. And put this back. And I think there's a spot that I could put a train stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A wagon here would be dropped. It would be supplied by both of these containers. Uh, and then we just... steal our... trash station from somewhere else. And as long as there's anything in here... Uh, it's going to summon this train, which will come and empty it. Don't even have to make a temp schedule. Although with a short train, it might take a few trips. Uh, there's not, there's not th that much iron beam here. All right. So we should have room now to grab all of this.
Should probably put a couple of signals back here for the moment. Actually, let's make a slight... No, it's fine. I was thinking of putting a connection to the rail that would be a little bit easier to delete without these little bits hanging out. But then we have to worry about the bi-directional rail. Are these butts out of energy as well? They are. Alright, fine. Take a break. Hey, the butts are... Nope. No, they're not. I thought they were, like, sticking to the train. So that they'd get hauled all the way back. Not gonna happen. And it's just as well we have some speed upgrades, because otherwise they would take a long time to get home. Okay. I guess we'll leave that there for now. I do have some room in my inventory. I can make a start on this before the other train is ready. Looks like we're having absolutely no issues with our upstairs ingots for now. Love to see it. I imagine two for iron and copper and one for everything else. There's probably enough pickup stations for the plate. If not, we can always make another one. But judging by the fact that it's full and there isn't a traffic jam... Well, we're not doing science at the moment, but we are spamming modules always. So... There's that. Tier 9 modules last hour. No reds. 14 blue, 13 green. We've actually made more prod modules than efficiency modules, surprisingly enough. And speed modules? That's in the last 10 hours. Way more speed modules in the last 50. Didn't realize we started this 20 hours ago. And that's game time. In any case, uh, I wonder how our bottleneck for prod modules is doing. Methane? Really? Uh, wasn't expecting that one. I was not expecting the methane shortage. Uh, methane, methane. Where the heck is it? Okay. So we've got none in this send stuff up the elevator exchange. Unsurprising. This is a... So most of these fibers are going to be byproducts of vitamelange processing from when we make the spice. But we're actually saturated on extract, at least in some places. Wow. Yeah, vitamelange consumption has stopped. Maybe we should do some signs. But more to the point, the uh, byproduct methane, even at this scale, is not good enough. Uh, we do have a mine for the methane. Which comes from a finite source. That's old. That's also old. And these are byproducts as well. Um, maybe something happened with that ship. No? 
We've got crazy amounts of methane ice here. Did we... What? Oh, this is leaving room for byproduct methane. If methane gas is less than 60,000... Hold on. This thing has a train limit of one. That's not the problem. What? What is going on with... I mean, first of all, we could make that limit a bit bigger. But more to the point, I think there's something wrong with the train schedule? Oh! Wait, 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 no. We didn't stop the methane train yet, did we? Where the heck is it? Did we accidentally retire it? Or did I retire it thinking we're replacing it soon and forgot about it or something? Orbist der Methane Train. Where's the exchange? Here it is. Here it is. Uh, okay. So I guess LTN picks up the methane... From here, uh, not from here, from here. Which it do. Request threshold. Oh. So this never could go upstairs. I was just... This is a drop-off only for the methane. Alright, well, that's easily remedied. Um, let's make a provider over here. And we're going to need some huge... Storage tanks. Or at least one, anyway. I like to do three, because then we can... Well, honestly, I don't think we need that much. Let's do it anyway. Just add a couple of pipes over here. And get the construction train. I'm sure five seconds is enough. Kellogg's, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh, uh, don't forget, we're gonna want a combinator. There's our train. Uh, apparently five seconds might not be enough because the bots are taking their sweet time. Not sure what that's about. Where, why? How? How do we have two bots here? That shouldn't even be possible. Maybe we caught it in a loop of resetting the bots. Or just in the middle of resetting the bots. No, that's weird. Better than zero? It is better than zero. Alright, so this is methane provider. Uh, we want this to be below normal priority. I'm pretty sure all the other methane providers have uh, massively above normal priority regardless, but... I definitely want the finite methane sources where we have to make mines to be a provider of last resort. So once the 60k in here, which shouldn't take too, too long, not even a couple of minutes.
Wow. Wait, why do we have... Sp no, 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 come back. Okay. Uh, why do we have space loaders here? <laughs> I guess it's what I had on hand. But we're actually bottlenecked by 45 ice per second. The purple belt can barely keep up. Look at that. Fifty... what? Fifty-seven methane ice per second. That's way less than a purple belt. So why is this climbing up so slowly? That's weird. I guess because... no? That... that's kind of strange. Whatever. It's enough. You can go back. So now we're looking at actually 576 per second. Uh, and we've got 143k already. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right. We've got 52k. It actually counts everything in here and through here. Kind of strange. 56k. Alright, so while that's sorting itself out, why am I standing here? I do not recall. Oh, that's right, we were here and I was going up here. And then we got distracted. Alright. This is fine. Actually, since I saw the copper in motion... Yeah, I just wanted to double check that that was saturated. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Alright. So, we're gonna need some floor. I do have a little bit here. Probably not enough. Uh, it's 5 by 5 right? It almost looks like it's not 5x5 five five with the way the tiling is there. And... Over here. And here. And here. Um... We've already stopped the vanilla scheduled trains. Should probably turn off the provider settings as well. Are we still going to need these uh, types of signals that say you can't actually get nitric acid from this station with the new one? No, no we will not. Oh, that's one way I could have saved... Oh. Okay, so instead of having two wires connected to all of these containers, so that we have the red wire for individual stations and the green wire for everything, if we just connected all of these with green wire, including the train stops, and then we had negatives for everything that isn't available at this station, uh, then we would have one less wire color here, and we could potentially do something smarter with circuit rebalancing of these. But I really don't want to add that much overhead for configuring these things. It's enough of a chore as it is. Okay, um, before we get too sidetracked... That doesn't work, does it? Just make some room for some pumps. I guess we'll do it like this. Do I have some space pipe even? Unsurprisingly, no. And switch off those providers. Alright, so let's grab our construction train. 
which is empty. I'm sure the bots have migrated back here by now. Still recharging though. Construction train should be loaded fairly soon. I want this in all of my vanilla playthroughs from now on. Well, I, no matter what mod I'm playing, I want construction trains. Uh, more to the point, do we have the pipes? We do. Uh, it'll be finished loading in a sec. Let's just let it do its thing. There we go. Alright, please park over here. And then we'll pump everything into the temp tanks. Since there isn't that much stuff here, maybe we'll grab everything and put it in the construction train. And we'll just shuffle around the inevitable... Uh, confused bots. Alright. Plating train over here, please. Oh, and we should probably... Start doing this immediately. No reason to wait. Turn off the combis. Uh, I guess we're going to fit all of this in one block, actually. Do I want to put it here or here? Probably a little bit further away from the space elevator. Might be a better idea. Okay. Boop and boop. That was fast. Okay. And I guess we can just deke on this. Since we're going to be leaving it. Wait, what am I doing? No, stop, stop, stop. Undo. Do not destroy the fluids that I took the time to preserve. That would be silly. So let's do this. Deadlock situation at the intersection with the trains. Uh... We may have to be more specific. Farmer, welcome in. Deadlocked trains. Uh, these ones are supposed to be stopped. We're, we're just parking them here for the moment. Was there a deadlock downstairs? Don't think so. Oh, yes. That would explain why deleting signals has been so slow. Alright, so where's the source? Where did the troubles begin? Solovix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Why... <sighs> Why does mix it up now take this many clicks to make it start when it used to be just one? Train deadlock with so many possible routes, indeed. I 
don't dislike mix it up at all, except I'd, I'd love for it to consistently take the same number of clicks to get started when I'm opening like seven programs to get ready for streaming. Okay. Where is the all important? Uh, there it is. There, there's your boss greeting. This is reason to make base without trains? Nah, this is just human error. So... Where's the problem child here? Also, is that a train without fuel? It's not. Oh, yes it is. I think we have our answer. I think they're all waiting for this train. Yeah. Alright, uh, I guess I'll run downstairs and fix that. Let me in. Wait, that's the wrong... You can't teleport to another surface. I guess it's faster to wait for this. All I had to do was click on the space elevator, but no. Foolish. And go. And so this traces back to when I made one of the newer um, LTN depots that use bots instead of sushi belts to deal with the uh, space train power packs. I kind of sort of forgot to put bots in it. So eventually some of our trains ran out of fuel. And right now I can't remember where the heck it is. It's this one. It's still trying to play catch up with the charged packs. I think I should go steal a bunch from another another LTN depot. And hopefully we'll see the last of these little hiccups. Oh. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I wonder if the other ones are constantly charging because they're trying to catch up with the shenanigans from the other depot. Or if we actually need more charges. Hmm. Storage charged pack. Um, looks like we don't have too many at all. Yeah, there's not, except for the mall, there's not a single place where we've got charged packs accumulating. Okay, so I think we need to, uh, I think we need to do more. I could literally just like copy paste this a couple of times i might do that i don't see how we're fitting like more of this around here i'd rather make it a bit more symmetrical though maybe like this I'm sure doubling it is probably sufficient. Are we carrying charges at the moment? Probably not. We only need... Oh, yes. Yes, we are. Okay. Alright, so we're going to copy past that. And... Put you over here. I believe there's a depot up here as well. Oh, that's not gonna... Nah, it's not gonna stick out enough. 
to touch another, like, neighbor. Okay, where's the other one? Here it is. Alright. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's less than one stack. Do we also have a green buffer storehouse? Gonna need a few more of those. What is it stacked to? 30. I'm sure that'll be more than enough. And we should be able to get all of that done in one trip. Why are there still only six of these here? What? 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 Uh, why are we not... Why are we not loading more of these? Oh, it's trying to insert something different. And now this is too full. We don't need spaceship floor right now. Get it out of here. There we go. Alright. So, construction train, world tour. Make sure those are in activity because the bots have been a bit weird. And that should be it. And we're already at the first location. Alright, so presumably doubling our capacity to charge space train power packs will be enough. We did have way more charges before I made this version. I don't know if uh, it just took a really long time to run out of the charge packs, or if it's also... It's probably more of a function of adding more demand for trains. But suffice to say, space train power pack... Charging is going to be going burr. Let's just steal some to take directly to that other train. I originally met your parked trains, but glad I could help. No worries. Where was it? Over here, right? Circuits. Uh, Puiko? Come to think of it. Uh, okay, let's fix this first. I just had a interesting thought. I'm not expecting this to work. But it did occur to me. No, I just won't let you place it. Okay. When spaceships land on top of this stuff, for example, uh, it gets deleted. And I thought maybe we could literally just place spaceship floor to, uh, to remove unsightly mines. Like this 3.5k iron that we've got for some reason. It's going to be my challenge for updated SE. Good luck. Alright, so the train... Uh, sure enough, the traffic jam has cleared up. And we should have... Oh, we're missing a few charging packs down here. 
one more trip. And that should be the end of that. All right. Line go up. Not that much more up than before so far. I guess we've got a bunch of that happening upstairs as well. Should probably check. We do indeed have charged packs accumulated here. So we're not in danger of... Uh, I haven't updated these belt ones yet. We're not in danger of running out just yet. And there you can see the ludicrous overkill of battery pack charging stations that we had in the first version. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Um, back to the teleporter. Try not to die. Hello, speed up. And I guess we'll leave these here for the moment. And just delete this like so. Okay. Make some room. These guys are fine. Alright, so now we delete everything but these fluid containers. I should be able to quickly cancel like this. Yeah, that's not that difficult. And then remove all the floor. Place our new blueprint. Just like this. Wish we had the new system for forcing build. Hey, Marcel, thank you very much for the five months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Rail signal is in the way. These two have to change to chain signals. Otherwise, we're going to have trains causing a forever traffic jam. Just means that we're not allowing trains to park here. And, oh, I hadn't planned that. Um, that's not actually where I want some of these fluids. Also, well, I, I guess we can just delete like this. It'll push it into this one specifically. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, it... Oh, because it's not actually connected to that one, that's why. That makes sense. As long as there's room in the nearby containers, nothing is lost. Um, and then... I guess we can already delete this. That's fine. 
and that's fine. Okay, so what I want is the four fluids that are going to move the fastest upstairs in the middle because there's fewer pipe sections from the drop-off to the fluid containers. Um, not sure what that's actually going to be, though. I guess we could just estimate based on which fluids have the highest overall consumption. Let's set it to like 10 hours so it stops fluctuating. Petroleum is definitely at the top. Probably a similar story upstairs. Light oil is next. Heavy oil is actually... I mean, it's pretty far behind. But it's up there. And I don't think it really matters after that. Probably doesn't matter after the first two, to be honest. So basically, petroleum and light oil, which is not too surprising. Which means two of these have got to move. Um, I think I'd like to do heavy, light, uh, petroleum, lube, and... I guess these are fine as well. I kind of wanted to put... Wait, where the heck is it? Oh, I deleted these. That was dumb. The tags, that is. Uh, we also need to account for Vitalic Acid. And what else? Uh... Nitric acid. Nitric and Vitalic. Okay. Pretty sure Vitalic is super slow. I don't want to put the Cryonite down here. Cryonite slush, that is. Nitric acid. Sulfuric. And Vitalik. That's just kind of organized in a way that sort of makes sense. In my cobwebbed brain. We need more signal transmitters. That's weird. Oh, the bots are confused or something. I was going to say, I thought the stack was a lot more than one. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? Probably pretty easily. Same deal up here. Well, I guess lube isn't going there, is it? Um, Alright, one thing at a time. This should be done very soon. Very, very soon indeed. That's fine. Put that back. And put this back. Okay, so this one's going to be nitric acid. Uh, and that goes in the ones that say heavy uh, crude oil barrel. Uh, and this one is crinite slush. 
fray on night slush. That's where it says water barrel, which is these four. Seems good. All right, so crown night slush is done. Uh, we can go ahead and grab this train to park over here. Except the floor train is in the way. You can probably go home. Wait, what? Wait, what? No. Okay, it's fine. We've got the filters on these. I told him to park at the train stop with this name and being a vanilla train, it went to the nearest one. Okay. Because we haven't actually named this yet. Also, somewhere along the way, we didn't connect this wire. There we go. Fantastic. That doesn't empty too slowly, I was going to say. Why is this one slower? Was this one not pumping? What? What? Why are these two... Oh, there's like a tiny bit of cronite slush in here for some reason. Well, there's your problem. Alright. That does make sense. Let's get rid of this one. Because we're only going to need one train... To move these two fluids. Uh, why don't we name the station? Also, we don't need this many. Uh, what was it? Nitric acid and chronite slush. We'll go with that naming convention. And we're going to use the exact same thing for this channel name. Which... Why is this not connected? Uh, which is going to tell us what we've got upstairs. And we're going to base our... LTN deliveries on that. This one's also not connected. Okay, uh, so now we should be able to just send this here until empty. Is the dish connected? It was not. Welcome in, Dylan. And that should empty quite quickly. Not as quickly as I would hope. One, two, three, uh, two, four, six pipe sections between the pump and the big container. And it makes it take this long to empty it. I think that's a little bit silly. Uh, we'll keep this train here. Um, so we want it to go... Well, I guess I should wait until we finish the the other end of this before we try making the schedule. This one is going to be sulfuric acid and Vita. Copy paste that for channel name. Grab our. Sulfuric acid train, go here, empty, and you as well. Go here, empty. And I do actually need to change these settings as well. 
So sulfuric acid is going to be this one. Oh, that's the wrong one. I guess this is a good, easy way to make sure we get the right ones. And vitalic acid... wait. Yeah, we've made sure there's nothing in those... That don't belong. Vitalic acid is going to be these ones. Cool, cool, cool. I thought the sulfuric acid one would get here first. Well, regardless. First one here gets a holiday. And then the sulfuric acid train should empty automatically. Fantastic. Not as quick as I would have expected, That really is a little bit disappointing. There's literally just two pieces of pipe between the pump and the big container. Whereas if it was directly connected, it would literally take like a second or less. Uh, game time, that is. We don't need this extra floor anymore. Hopefully the bots don't get confused. And uh, I guess we follow the same procedure for these other... Wait, wait, wait. We wanted to put lubricant over here, didn't we? And vitalic acid down here somehow. Hmm. It's not going to pump as fast, but we should be able to just... Stick this pump over here. That's going to take a minute. How fast is it pumping right now? 1.2k per second, but it gets slower and slower. Hmm. I, I guess I could temporarily delete... Uh, these other containers. Now it's in here as well. Whatever, we can delete a little bit of it. And that way all of the contents are in here and this will pump faster. Not as fast as I thought, it hardly changed it at all for the moment. What if we put another pump down here? I don't think it's going to help that much. Morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, at the moment we're looking at like two minutes, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get slower. Why don't we give it a hand? That uh, should be a lot quicker. 1909. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, while that's happening, we want our lubricant up here. Which... It's going to be a little bit of a headache. Hmm... Should have not deleted this just yet. There's not room to do what I was thinking of. Uh, unless... Oops. It's 
Space pipe. Hold on. This was unnecessary. Get it out of here. Alright, that should be a bit faster. Don't forget to turn these around. And we'll just delete that one when we're done. Okay, anything else not where it belongs? Nope. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. How much longer till this is done? Still 1300 per second and we're down to 16k. Fantastic. And you're going at 1700 per second. Alright, that shouldn't be too bad. You could have just moved that tank one to the bottom left. One to the bottom left. Oh, I guess, yeah. It's fine. Now then. Uh, I guess while we're waiting for that, that's supposed to be light oil. Let's do these signals. And that one's supposed to be heavy. Whoops. Heavy oil. No. That looks good. Uh, let's not summon a train to drop off light oil just yet. Let's grab the heavy oil train. Uh, I should probably name this first. Oops. Heavy oil and light oil. Same name for this. And grab our heavy oil train. And tell it to drop off over here. So I think there's only one left, right? To set the signals. Yep. Lube at the top. That's this one. And petroleum. I guess we can copy-paste it like this. And petroleum in the middle. Lube, petrol, lube, petrol, petrol, lube, petrol, lube. Fantastic. Alright, you are getting retired. What? Oh no. Maybe I should deliver these excess... Uh, space train power packs downstairs where we're trying to catch up with them. Let's go do that. Should only take a sec. Oop. And the nearest one is just over here. Wait, what happened to the... Oh no. I think the bots just stole a bunch of the... the power packs I was trying to deliver. They, sh they might be here, yeah. And or... in the bot network downstairs at the elevator as well. If there's a storage spot for them. Nope. 
think it was just up here. Give him back. Uh, this is annoying. Um, can I drop off something that's relevant here? This stuff shouldn't be here either. Not quite. Whatever. Come back for this mess later. It'll happen. And go. Look at that. So we definitely haven't caught up yet. Actually, since all of these chests do have some charged power packs. Yeah, we're probably doing a lot better now. Although, why is it only two of these that have so many? Okay, that'll do for now. Is there a convenient station around here somewhere that I can drop things off and they'll go home? I guess we could use Mr. Spider. Uh, just take almost all of this off my hands. Wait, what? Oh, he's already not supposed to carry these and the bot is taking them. Okay, fine. I need a short break in any case. Let's do some words on stream. Zoom out. Oh, words on stream got a little graphics upgrade. Okay. Alright, we'll start words in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you soon.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? Nicely done. Pause the words and continue the factorio. Right, so we were doing the new fluid system. Oh yeah, I've still got these to push across, I forgot. Oh no. And of course they're crisscrossing. Except for the heavy oil. So this one... Uh, I guess won't be as much of a pain. Welcome in 55. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And what if we add a pump here? I guess. May as well. I guess one more over here wouldn't hurt. How many tiles is this? 10. And one more piece of pipe over here. Alright, so that'll get pushed through in a matter of minutes. Uh, petroleum's supposed to go over here. That's gonna be trickier, I think. Hey, we emptied out Vitalik Reagent, I think. Try not to get hit by a train. I'm pretty sure this part was temporary. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now we replace what's supposed to be here. Don't forget to wire up red wire to this thing. And green wire to the I signal say we transmitter. Take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. I'd like to have a birthday nuke? As you wish. Happy birthday for yesterday. What should we nuke? How about this oil field? It's kind of big for one nuke. We can try. The, the one to the north is already damaged, so maybe. Fantastic. I think we got the whole thing. Beautiful. Uh, where's the... Oh. Rewards queue. There we go. Excellent. Fantastic. Uh, no, I said rewards queue. There we go. No, don't put it in another window. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. Um, his lube pushed through. Oh, hold on. The green wire has to touch both of these. There we go. And the answer is basically yes. That should actually empty it. Except apparently there's still dregs over here. Delete that for now. Is there still scaffolding over here? You sneak. Who said you could stay? Alright, delete the 2000 lubricant? Nani? How is the 2000 lubricant here? 
What? Fluid system contents to that. Huh? Oh, this. Oh, it's literally 2,000 in the pumps. Bruh. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Okay. Is that... Why are these pumps facing the wrong way again? Oh, I remember. To avoid what just happened over here. Heretech, welcome in. Messenger. How does that system work? You have liquid coming off a train and straight into another. What's the point? I'm confused. Uh, without a mod, uh, without an additional mod, uh, LTN trains can't go up and down the space elevator. So we have a vanilla scheduled train to bring items up and down the space elevator. And then it gets passed over to the automatic dispatching system, logistic train network. Welcome in Messenger. So it's basically a transfer from one train system to another. Alright, we can put that back, I think. Um, is this empty? It's empty enough. Not gonna stress about two drops of heavy oil. And we want nitric acid down here. Why don't we just borrow this spot for a sec? And that is 14 tiles. That's kind of annoying. Because I want to pump here. Actually, just do that. That's fine. Lamel. Yeah, that, that should pump it relatively quickly. Okay. Interesting. Haven't yet unlocked space elevator yet. Uh, so not sure how it all works. We just have simple trains, which is why it didn't make sense to me. No worries, you're welcome. Uh, so basically, the vanilla train schedules have stops that go up or down the space elevator. Um, I can't see a good... Oh, here it is. Y you might notice that three of these stops are unreachable at the moment. Wait, is that one of the trains that we thought we stopped? I think it is. I think it's been running laps doing absolutely nothing for a little while with the old system for sending the scrap downstairs. But nevertheless, it's a good example. Uh, so right now the train stops upstairs uh, that are unreachable from down here. Just says no stop with this name exists. Um, uh, but it will once it goes up the elevator. There is a mod that came out not too long after I made this system. Um, to have LTN manage the trains up and down the elevator for you. But I thought it was an interesting challenge anyway. I, I forget if it came out like right after I sorted this out or like at about the same time. Maybe slightly before. Um, but yeah, we've iterated and improved on that a little bit. So right now we've got a system... You could do it with bots, so you could have many different item types. But there'd be some issues with throughput. Um, but basically we've got like up to four different items being transmitted... Uh, being brought upstairs by one uh, vanilla train schedule. So we don't have a single train for each for each item type, just sitting idle most of the time. And all of these empty spots that you can see in these types of depots, uh, that's how many trains we needed for the old system. Uh, 
or approaching that number. Your base slash setup makes my world look trash? No, it's not trash. It's just earlier in the journey. Okay, uh, I want light oil up here. And I guess we'll do it like this. Um, well, something like that. Just how many pumps do we have handy anyway? Didn't really occur to me to do it like this at first, but it should be significantly faster because of the way fluid mechanics are in this game. And we want petroleum over here, somehow. I think we'll just wait till this is pumped, which is almost done. Missing corner? Oh, true, thank you. Why don't we just work backward from our conclusion here? You are in the way. Maybe I could borrow this stuff that's already here. Actually, that kind of makes a lot of sense. We'll connect it like this. Once there's nothing, once there's no light oil left. Oops. And then just, like, connect these over here. Will it actually drain out the dregs from these? I think if there was just one container here, it would, but with two, it's gonna... There's gonna be a little tiny fraction of a unit of liquid stuck in there. Also, we're out of plating. Well, that won't be an issue for much longer. Seven. Six. Five. Four. It's getting slower. What about this light oil? We're down to 80, 70k. No, 2 is where it stops. But if we delete this and this jumps in here, it should all just vaporize. Well, not vaporize, it should all find its way over here. Undergrounds are a bit weird with this as well. Well, in any case, I think we can remove this now. And we'll steal this back. And once the light oil is empty, we'll bring these over. Actually, oh, there's like, wow, it's actually full. That's right, I remember. We had the train still trying to unload petroleum gas over here. This one. I was going to say we should be able to make it go drop off here already. But that would make the pumping a little bit slower. Lube and petroleum. Petroleum. And that is your channel name. And we already did these signals. Fantastic. Pumps are all facing the right way. Looks good.
Okay, are you empty yet? Just about. I guess I could have done this way sooner. There we go. I'm sure the bots will get a bit stuck from this. You left an underground between petroleum and H2SO4. H2SO4. Left an underground. Huh? Nani sorry. Oh, we should get rid of this as well. And that'll all get pushed back in there. Light oil is still connected. Oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Okay, fortunately there's still some light oil stuck in this pump. So that kind of sorted itself out. I mean, I meant to do that. That was... That was the plan all along. You just don't uh, recognize my genius. It's fine. There was never any danger of mixing fluids. Don't know why you would think there was. Yes. Okay. Nope. <laughs> what do you mean, nope? Big brain? Exactly. Alright, how fast is this pumping? Almost 2k per second. Fantastic. You know what? If we do this now, we won't have... To, that. That's one less action that we'll have to wait to do. And I'm sure one pump there is far more than we need. And this should actually empty entirely, except for like... A couple of dregs left in this underground pipe. Okay, so what trains have we got left over here? Lube, light oil, and petroleum. We can bring light oil up here already, right? Yeah. Light oil... It's going to be the train that we use for this schedule. Uh, lube and petroleum are both the same schedule. Well, we already moved the lube, right? Yeah, so let's bring lube here first. Empty. Oops. And is this pumping? It is. When you delete pipes slash pumps slash tanks in Factorio, it tries to place the fluid that's in the deleted entity into an adjacent one. Yes, it does. Oops, I forgot. Uh, here it is. Forgot to remove the power armor-ish items. I think I just removed the wrong train. This one was going to be the scheduled train for this lot, right? So I guess we'll use this one instead. Um, you can go over here. Petroleum. Empty. This should have mostly pumped by now, right? No, it's still going. Okay, in that case, uh, 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 stop. Stop this at once, because the fuller this gets, the slower this is going to pump. Uh, 
Alright, uh, while that's happening, I guess we should start work on the downstairs portion. Which is going to look... Get this out of here. Which is going to look a little something like this, I think. Yeah. It's pretty much exactly the same as this contraption. LTN requests stuff and it knows what's upstairs. Uh, and it won't try to request stuff if there's no signal transmitter signal from these constant combinators, just in case that's malfunctioning. Uh, and then we just push the contents directly from this train to this train. Except because it's fluids, we don't need no stinking containers between these. This will pump very, very quickly. Since the three pumps fit together perfectly. Alright, so we want to set this to which one? Heavy oil, lubricant, cryonite, vitalic. Uh, where was I going to build this? Oh. oh. I forgot I was looking at the editor. But yeah, I just wanted to review this before we actually build it. But no, that should be fine. Uh, where should we put it? I don't think it matters too much. There's not that much fluid uh, throughput for the fluids. So, relatively low traffic area, I think. Um, then again, uh, well, you know what? Why don't we use this? this spot right here. I want it relatively close to the higher throughput fluids where they're produced. Even if the train has to... Well, hold on. I was already thinking about... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Without moving anything around, I could add some space elevators here. But not... Oh, wait. One, two, three, four... Why you have to be there? Maybe I could move this one. But I think that's all of Bioscience Year 3 or something. All nice and close together. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't suppose downstairs we could go six tiles up. Not unless I moved that build. And this build is slated for deconstruction, but it's going to take forever to empty out. Hmm. Erwin, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. NX, uh, NXT main, welcome in. We should do some more uh, science. Oh yeah, it wasn't the reason that we weren't doing... Rod modules, because we had no... Yeah, here it is. No methane. I wonder how that's been doing since. What are these called again? Lattice pressure vessels. Last hour... Ooh. That, that is more area under the graph than I was expecting to see. So we've just been going constantly since we resupplied methane. Who knows when we'll hit the next bottleneck. So currently 254 per minute. The machine allegedly can do 360, but we're bottlenecked on inserters. I'm not overly concerned by being bottlenecked by these inserters because... 
uh, because the material inputs for the lattice pressure vessel is pretty damn demanding. I don't know if we'll ever need to produce that at like 360 per minute. But we could always just add a couple more inserters here. Or just belt. If we've got room, we could use uh, loaders. Since there's only two solids coming in. Two filtered loaders. On each side. As long as it consumes uh, symmetrically. Anyway. Sidetrack complete. Let's delete all of this. And this. Get rid of that. Put those back where they belong. And we didn't build this yet, did we? All right. Don't need to swap out any signals this time. Construction train should be able to do it in one go. I don't think I need to double check that we're carrying any of this stuff. And this one is... I don't feel like copying all these tags right now. But we'll at least make a start. Oh, it's only eight of them, I guess. Heavy, light... Bottom left was something in cryonite slush. Nitric acid, right? And then we've got lube petroleum. And I remember... Sulfuric acid, because the icon of molecules is kind of similar. And last but not least, vitalic acid. Okay. Heavy oil. Uh, what's this one? Cryonite slush. Petroleum. And Vitalik. I'll just quadruple check up here. Looks good. We got some hovering bots. Alright. What am I doing? Downstairs, please. So that should already be built. Fantastic. And we need to copy the station names. Or parts of them. What's this one? And then petroleum. And lube. Last one is vitalic. Acid and acid. Okay, so now we have everything we need to make our schedules. Oops. Up the elevator. No, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop it, stop it. Bad train. Up the elevator, go to vanilla depot, wait for inactivity one second. Uh, down the elevator, go to depot. Wait for inactivity one second, and then go to the 
wait, what? No, stop. Uh, and then go to the drop off slash pickup. What? Uh, I may have a little correction to make with the station names downstairs. So this one is provider. Oh, I must have copy-pasted too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what happened. So are these ones correct? Looks good. Alright, now where the heck is that train? Alright. Up the elevator. Depot. Come here, wait till empty. Uh, down the elevator, depot. Go here, wait till full. We don't really need two depot stops if there's only one train following the schedule. Um, but as soon as there's two, we should be doing that. Oh, I guess we're not... Oh, right, hold on. Trains, train limit should be one. Just keep it static. Nice and simple. That should be... Should always be fast enough. In any case. These are already set to train limit one. Cool. And... That's our schedule. Alright, so we're going to copy that. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to put these on manual. And then we're going to copy that schedule. And just edit it slightly. Since that'll be a little bit easier. Salford Sal, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Core NX, welcome in. Petroleum and light oil. And that goes here. Empty. Uh, and this goes here and full. That should be right. Stream was great, thanks. Fantastic. What kind of Factorio is this? Space exploration. There's a lot going on here. Mr. Thunderstump, welcome in. And Bufin. Welcome in also. Alright, so we got two more of these schedules to update. This one's got slush in it. And that goes here. And that goes here. Empty. One more. With the vitriolic. Uh... That acid. There we go. Wait, no. Where the heck is the schedule? We're looking... Oh, here it is. Okay. So go downstairs, fill up on this. Go upstairs, empty over here. And that should be that. And there's still bots hovering over here. There we go. Alright. So let's activate their schedules. Uh, if you're empty, you can just go down the elevator, please. And this one as well. And after a quick stop off at the vanilla depot to refuel... They're going to go... that's not the right train. Uh, they're going to go park themselves over here.
Getting nutty porridge. Sounds lovely. Alright, cool. And they should just be sitting idle there. Um, we've already transferred over all the old stuff. I should double check that there are no fluid networks that have two fluids in them. Seems like we're okay. And that is a send fluids up the space elevator system that takes up half as much space. And half as many train schedules. Oh, we should probably name these. Light oil provider. It's already switched on. Uh, petroleum. Wait, there isn't a train coming here, right? No. We've got some other unnamed stations with the same name. Heavy oil and lubricant. And down here we have crinite slush. Vitalic. Keep wanting to call it vitriolic acid. Uh, nitric acid. And sulfuric. Sulfuric acid. There we go. Alright, uh, and I, need, I guess we need to do the LTN requests for downstairs. Alright, so this is looking for... how much can we store up here? Four, 600k. Alright, so if we look for like 400k... That's plenty, and also leaves plenty of slack. That should be fine. Um, because the system can't account for the train that's in motion. This one can't. Alright. So nitric acid, crinite slush. Cryonite, slush, fluids, we don't have to worry about different stack sizes, that's kind of nice. Heavy oil, light oil, petroleum and lubricant. Acid and acid. Alright, there should be eight trains or more, actually, on their way here shortly. This one currently has three trains on its way. And this will pump through very, very quickly. Kind of perfect timing for the next train to get... to, to, to leave, basically. Cool, cool, cool. That's looking pretty good. The extra underground is still there, upstairs. Where is it? Oh, there's an extra pump. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. 32, 33, oh, is this it? That's so sneaky. It's not the usual color of uh, space underground pipes because of the shadow. Yes, indeed. All right, and there's our filtered pumps so that this thing can bring up two different liquids. Fantastic. And it's not too slow. I mean, we knew it would be a little bit slower because of the extra pipes. But the fluid trains don't have much trouble keeping up with these things. So not too worried about that. 
Uh, I might just procrastinate on updating methane gas and matter coming up the elevator. Methane gas doesn't need, like, a unique system, but matter does. Well, I guess we could always have yet another train taking matter somewhere to get consumed uh, to make charged singularity packs, but I really don't think that's necessary. So we'll probably redesign... Like, we only need... Well, we actually need... Uh, didn't we need bio sludge to go downstairs? No, we didn't. Oh, this is empty now. So it is keeping up. I'm still a little bit concerned by how much uh, how long I saw that we had bio sludge in here earlier. So, I might just add some more of this over here. Do we still have plating? We do. I don't suppose we have fluid isothermics on hand. Might have to steal that design? Thank you. Really, uh, really cool how you do your train stations with the two trains facing each other. Oh, you mean downstairs for the transfer? Very lucky that the pumps just happened to... Well, I guess it's not that lucky since rail snaps to two tiles. But yeah, the fact that we're able to do this with just pumps means we don't leave any remains of fluid in the system. There is an initial rush here of LTN trying to spam fluids into... Actually, I'm a little concerned. No, it should be okay. As long as the vanilla scheduled trains can get in here to pick stuff up, that should be fine. Yeah, no, I think that'll be okay. What's this old mess? Bit of rare metal. Little bit of a Mercian plate. Way too much sulfur. Oh, there's a little bit less than 160 stacks, no doubt. Hmm. Maybe somewhere or other we're going to be in trouble because we're dropping this off with a long train. And it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's get this emptied out as a priority. And as for the rest... Decon train can get rid of that. Deconstruction train... Over here, please. Dench popsicles, welcome in. Alright, what were we doing here? Oh, that's right. We're going to add more of these fluid isothermic generators, which, as it turns out, how many do we need? Twelve. Let's just ride back. Uh, can be used to consume any fluid, even if it doesn't give any energy. Okay. Uh, we have those back here, surely. Just 12, please. And they go. And of course the bot's over-delivered. I think I'll take the teleporter back. What? 
apparently I wasn't standing in it. Alright. There we go. If that's not enough to keep up with discarding excess bio sludge, I'd be shocked. How are we doing for rod modules now that we've got the methane coming in again? Ten. Fantastic. That means there was at least a train load. Well, it means there was exactly one train load of lattice pressure vessels dropped off. We're also struggling for quantum processors, but what else is new? This has been running at full tilt every time I've checked on it lately. Dare I hope that we need to build more. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Just a coincidence. We are doing 120 quantum processors per minute. Or two and a bit stacks. But certainly not enough to keep up with. I believe it's efficiency modules that want the quantum processors. Yeah. How many efficiency nines do we even have? I don't think we've been making very many. We've got 42 lying around. That's actually pretty good. We don't need that many efficiencies compared to speed and prod. So that's all going quite well. Uh, maybe it's time to turn on some research. How do we have no material science for if we haven't been researching lately? What's going on here? No three, no two, no one, no heavy girders? Well, that was obviously temporary. I should update this to the bigger machines as well. But more to the point... Where are our heavy girders? Oh, I think I know the answer. Did I not set this up for short trains? I did set this up for short trains, but I forgot to tag it as... ...being available for short trains. Oops. So no material shortage here. That we know of. Here it comes. So, 50 times 50, right? It's going to give us how much science? Two hundred and fifty times 4. 1,000 material science 2. It's going to turn into 4 becomes 6. And let me guess, 6 becomes 8. So it's basically ignoring every other material. 10 girders becomes 8 uh, material science pack 4s. This is fine. Okay. What should we research for the moment? I don't think there's anything we're worried about unlocking at this point. Actually, mining productivity would be good, but it's already up to 49,000 is not as big as I thought, actually. Let's get some mining productivity. And we actually can start researching that straight away because it doesn't use material science. Wob, 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 wob. Hey, we can probably go put our final modules in this thing. I'm really hoping that without spending too much electricity on it, we can have... Wait, no, I think we already did do that. Our ultimate target is 3 per second. 2.62...
science per second this can consume. I'm hoping we can do it with just one machine without paying too, too much energy. All right, give me all the tier nine modules. Why don't I just make a dedicated request to chest for them? Because sometimes I want to shove them in this train to take downstairs. Let's make it a green chest. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Okay, nine, and nine, and nine. All right, so that's all of our precious tier nine modules. And I might just borrow this train to make this easier. Head on over to... The Science. Teague, welcome in. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Uh, Dexoxo, welcome in also. Why do the inserters look so slow? Is that UPS related? I, I mean, yeah, we're running it a little bit more than half speed most of the time. How does mining prod improve core drills? They just spit out more core fragments for some reason. All right, all the speed puts us up to uh, only four per second. I thought it would be higher. And let's put in some efficiencies as well. That's already 2.9 per second. Bruh. 3.5 is a little bit high. 3.3... I guess we don't need that many speed 9s. 3.1... Could probably use a bunch of speed 7s instead or something. 2.97. Okay. Maybe I should experiment with... If I jump into the editor, do we have like a separate science queue? I think we do. Um, research. No, I don't... I don't think we can with the editor extensions, like side editor surface, have a different research running. I don't particularly feel like physically going and getting the different speed modules to try and make this exactly three per second. But 3.15 is a bit faster than we're intending. It's only 390 megawatt for this, uh, this one singularity lab. Maybe we should just make another one. No, then we'd need more prod modules. I guess we'll just leave this here. How do you deal with logistics between planets? I've always struggled with that. Uh, we are using spaceships and nothing else. This is the standard design. Uh, it's fairly compact and fast, and doesn't invoke the wrath of arbitrarily bigger asteroids, because we've got a really big uh, container or hull stress. And it, for the most part, it only uses two shield projectors. The two on the side don't get used very often, but they are needed just to catch the occasional rock that would hit the engine at the back. Um... But yeah, uh, what do we got? 10 fluid isothermic generators crammed in there, which is not quite enough to support four antimatter engines and more importantly, the shield projectors um, going at full tilt indefinitely. But they do last quite a long time with some accumulators. Uh, and we've got kind of a homebrew automatic dispatch system. Um, so all of the outposts 
all of the outposts uh, know how, ma how many core fragments are on the planet, roughly. They don't know what's in the trains, for example, but it's good enough. Um, once they've got enough core fragments, they're, they're going to race, basically, to try to report back to Central, like, please send a ship. And whoever wins the race gets a ship sent to them. Uh, and we've got a bunch of... We, we've got some stuff in there to ignore signal collisions and a slight arbitrary difference in when they report if they're all trying to report at max priority. Um, but basically we've got like... The more core fragments we've got here, the bigger this time signal gets. Um, that goes up to a, an arbitrary maximum that's like 200 ticks short of our target. That's a different arbitrary maximum, 100 shorts, uh, ticks short. Uh, so once we get here, we're like... Uh, for each ship that's on its way here already, subtract 30 time. For, uh, for every 30 core fragments that are back at home... Actually, I think this is still set the way it was set when we were counting individual core fragments rather than ships bringing back core fragments. That might have to change. Actually, no, that's fine. Uh, Loztak, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think it's for every ship that's heading back with that core fragment type. Subtract 30 time. Uh, if we're short on space elevator cables over here, just consider it an emergency. Uh, like, report immediately. And that goes through and gets sent back to central. Um, here we've got the local address. This part's just kind of cosmetic so we can see where our ship is going. Uh, whether or not we're going to bounce off the anomaly to get here faster. Uh, this signal transmitter signal is just so that we can check that they're not colliding. And the time signal, which as you can see is the same as the outpost number, uh, is just so that if they're all trying to report, they report slightly at slightly different times. Tumbling, welcome in. One whole day of raids. And I end up back here. Twitch is a raid circle. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Welcome in, Tumbling. Uh, we've got... If the ship just left... Uh, minus one to a counter for how many spaceships are on the way to this outpost. Um, if we notice that Central... If we get a read receipt, basically. If we see our address... From the memory cell at central uh, we add one ship what else have we got in here we've got a ship limit to be sent to each outpost uh and this is for counting that one ship yeah when the ship is about to take off we go plus one sh uh holmanite core fragment when it's on its way back and then back at central uh, basically, basically, where do I begin? Um, so this memory cell right here is the current job that we're trying to give to a ship. The outposts are constantly trying to spam their next job. Um, as I said, they're like racing. Uh, this little contraption just checks that we're not getting a signal collision and ignores everything else. We've got a timer here that all the outposts are listening to um, that adds the time signal so that they can get up to the threshold to try to report. This thing is counting how many ships of, are bringing back each type of core fragment at the moment. Uh, this is just for a display. So we've had like 20% downtime I think this one's all time and this one's like the last minute? I thought this was minute. What's T for time? I don't remember. 
What? No. Hold on. This one was the last minute, I think. And this one is... I honestly don't remember. And this one's all time. T. What is T? Boy, it sure will be nice when we can put notes in our combinators. That's probably more logic than I've used in the past 3,000 hours, indeed. Alright. Uh, I can't even remember what that was for. Uh, this timer right here is kind of using... It, it's just doing a loop, uh, and when we talk to the drop-off stations, uh, we're actually kind of using the same trick that we used to do for the outposts, whereby this one will only listen when time equals 20, for example. And that white light there means that Central is trying to... It, Central is spamming everyone, trying to give a job out. Uh, that's not going to happen until a ship lands here, and then it's emptied, uh, and it's refueled, and the bots have stopped moving, and I forget what that... Oh, and there's nothing on this memory cell. Uh, once all those conditions are passed, that signal can pass through here. Once this memory cell gets populated, we reset Central's memory cell, and we minus one the counter for how many ships are on the way back with Holmanite core fragments. And then that memory cell information gets passed through to a memory cell on the ship. The reason we need a memory cell on the ship... Uh, where's one that's, like, outbound? Preferably... Nope. Uh, the reason we need a memory cell on the ship is because we use an anomaly get to places faster um, that happens to be equal distance to everything else. So we want to set the ship's destination to that anomaly uh, and then let me find an outbound ship actually. And then uh, so the information that's on the memory cell of the ship is going to get passed through to the spaceship console when Basically, when we reach our destination, when distance signal equals negative one. And then that gets reset whenever it lands uh, at an outpost or at a drop-off. T for time means hour in Norwegian. Perhaps it's hours? Maybe. I'd have to pick apart the whole thing to figure it out again. We get updated combinators, something really needed for SE. Yeah, I can't wait. Might be a while, though. Might be a minute before we get to play with those. But yeah, that's how we're doing uh, interplanetary slash interstellar uh, transit. Now, I did take the reduced stack size of core fragments as a challenge and, a, and, and an insult, like a glove slap. So it's not really the most efficient thing to be moving these as core fragments. Although in some cases it's really quite convenient, like when they spit out several fluids. It, it, it's debatable. Depends. But what I'd like to do, if I do another playthrough, is somehow come up with a system that's basically space LTN. Um, so we can send ships to take thing from point A to point B uh, and move all kinds of different resources um, so that we could have an outpost. But we could basically have outposts acting kind of like um, more complicated and large rail blocks where we've got certain inputs and certain outputs depending on... and we might have intermediate steps where we don't use trains. Uh, depending on, like, stack sizes and throughput and that sort of thing. T for tear your hair off. Pullerman, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Wasn't it the last cycle, like, ten minutes? Yeah, that might be it. That does sound right, actually. Hour in German is Stunden, which in Norwegian is the same word as a while. Fun, fun, indeed. Okay. Uh, I've completely lost my train. Oh, wow. We're already 9% done on that research of 49,000. Also, our UPS... Uh, I spoke too soon. I was going to say it's back up to 47. I'm not sure why. Rather strange that we reactivate uh, science and our UPS not only drops, but it goes up again. That's kind of weird. There should just be more throughput more trains, more machines doing things in general everywhere. I would very much expect UPS to drop a bit. Put level 9 modules in? We're in the process. We've already done level 9 modules here. Um, yeah, we're, we're in the rather slow process of putting tier 9 modules uh, just about everywhere. Although, as you get to the higher tier modules with higher tier machines, uh, it takes far fewer machines. Um, like, this This is probably the only Holmium cable build we're ever going to need again. Maybe one more, just like this. Um, did we already put tier 9s here? We did. So this thing's capable of 180 Holmium cable per second. Just from those two machines. Uh, and if we look at Holmium cable, last 50 hours, consumption, 2.8k per minute, last 10 hours, 6.2k per minute, last hour, 5.1k per minute. Um, yeah, I think we'll only need like one or maybe two of these to support our endgame target. Are you making more Prod9 modules as well as researching? Yeah, I haven't put a pause button on the Prod9s or anything. Currently, we're making... Well, last last hour was 30. That's pretty good, actually. Last 10 hours was only 110. So that's a, that's a bit of an improvement. Okay. Wo ist das? Ich kannst klein... Ich kannst kleine Deutsch. Ich sprechen sie Deutsch nicht so gut. Ich haben... Uh, kleine Deutsch? I'm sure that's a very silly way to say it. Alright, I'm gonna need a short break kind of lost track of what we were doing for the moment regardless. I guess we'll see where the bottleneck shows up uh, when science crashes. Assuming it does. I'd be shocked if we get through the entire mining prod 6 before we uh, empty out some of our storages somewhere. But maybe. I mean, that is the goal that we're pushing towards. Just one, one bottleneck push at a time. I do fear that we're going to need a lot more spaceships, uh, since we're getting core fragments directly. We're already up to 50 for the generic ships. But if we have to spam them, I guess we'll just have to spam them and see how far the UPS drops. Let's save it real quick. Okay. We'll continue words on stream for now. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. Can you increase your UPS? Uh, 
Yes, if you mean you can do a console setting uh, to speed the game up, you can. But the game is already going as fast as it can. And that's like almost down to half speed at this point. So it's not going to do anything. Uh, but yeah, we'll do some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Science is still churning. Very nice. I wonder where the bottleneck will appear. Alright, that's enough words for now. Nicely done. Last second Veldak. Fantastic. It's more sparkly now. Alright, let's pause that. And continue with Factorio. Very good at finding French words, you don't say. Okay, uh, what should we do for the moment? I'm actually kind of surprised that we got that much science done with no, no immediate appearance of a bottleneck, since we had a bunch of stuff that we stopped and started earlier while we were fixing it. I presume we're still material bottlenecked on the quantum processes. Yes. Absolutely. Hmm. So we, we finished patching over... That's right, I wanted to delete this. We finished patching over all of the... The old bring things upstairs system. Uh, we've moved over most of the fluids to a more succinct one. I don't particularly feel like tackling those last couple for the moment. Um, there must be dozens and dozens of builds I'd like to refactor, but what we want to work on right now. I'm confused by the new selector combinator. I'm not entirely clear on its function from reading the triple F, but uh, what we can figure out by that description does look pretty cool. Actually, have we settled bringing all the fluids upstairs yet? That's something I want to know. Judging by the fact that we don't... No, wait. Where would the trains... They'd be sitting downstairs, right? Yeah, no, we're good. We're already caught up. Cool, cool, cool. It initially read to me like an anti-cyclic April Fool's. Select a combinator seems to be good at randomly selecting some signal. That is one function it has. Oh yeah, I did want to redo... Oh, I guess I need to do the the schedule to bring up Naquim ingots as well. Because I wanted to redo this mess. It's not really that important though. It's honestly just kind of aesthetic. Why are we backed up on ingots on this side, but not on this side? I don't think it's broken. Is it? Hold on. We need Naquim powder. We have no Naquim powder. And the two refined Naquitite outputs are full. Oh, there's powder here. Wait. What? I'm confused. It doesn't seem like it's stuck because we've got ingots backed up all the way over here. There's plenty of powder on this side. And this side is designed exactly the same way as this side. It's got plenty of input. I am very confused. Okay, so on the Oh, I think I see what the what the issue is. So with the lazy way we did this belt, because there's not much throughput of Naquitite crystal. 
this belt is blocking this belt. So basically there's a, because it's actually backed up, there's a priority consumption of Nequitite crystals that come from here. As opposed to here, as opposed to here, as opposed to here. And because we're not consuming these Nequitite crystals with Naquium ingots, we're not consuming the Naquium powder over here. Wait, shouldn't that mean... Well, I guess it's that we're not con consuming the refined Naquitite. It, it, yeah, it, it's something like that anyway. Thoroughly confusing. Oh yeah, we had an outpost. It's a little, a little bit of a routine chore, but we did have an outpost to expand. That would be relatively easy to get more Holmanite or Franks. But it looks like we don't need it, at least not yet. I'm not entirely sure how it happened, actually, that uh, that we ended up so saturated on Holmium after the shortage that we had. So has the bottleneck shifted for for making quantum processes? We actually might not be bringing Ibnocyte crystals fast enough. How fast can this go through Imosite Crystal? Only 10 per second, or 11. I saw these two belts were empty earlier, I think. It's not actually the Holmanite or Holmium cable. Okay, let's double check blue circuits downstairs. There's tons. Yeah, no, we're good. Uh... The other one was... I think Imosite Crystal. Or maybe Quantum Phenomenon... Phenomenon? Quantum Phenomenon data. Is that having any issues? It looks slow. It looks like it's not having input issues. 4.38 per second. But it's got, it's got more than one consumer. Um, it goes into catalog, of course, quantum processor, and also matter analysis data. So theoretically, there could be quite a lot more demand of it than the three per second. Might want to speed that up. I could put higher tier modules here. I don't really want to do another build for this. We've already got uh, 12 laser facilities. So how fast can this consume them? 5.4 per se- 5.5 per second. Well, there's your problem. There's your problem. This takes in blanks and spits out junk cards as well as our desired product. Also uses thermofluid. It's not exactly convenient to like add some of that to this build. I guess I could always literally just copy this half block here. This one this one doesn't output contaminated scrap. So we could literally just take this half block, add a copy here and direct belt uh, some of the output just to save some train trips. I'm, I mean... Okay, no, we're out of Holmium cable here. I'm pretty sure we don't actually need uh, five and a half quantum processes per second when we stop making modules. What if I switch off 
the modules, the request to station here for a, for a little bit, and see if quantum processes saturate. Because I don't want to super overdo something like this if it's not necessary for our target, especially when we haven't put in the top tier modules yet. But I might just add a little note here. Might need to to go a lot faster. Phenomena. Phenomenum. Do 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 do. <laughs> Phenomena. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, I've been kind of. Wow, is this actually saturated? No? What? Wait, why isn't this... Why are you not putting stuff in here? Uh, Because there's supposed to be more than 10 Naquium Tesseracts in here. There's no Naquium plate. Okay, now, now, now you're scaring me. There's no Naquium ingots, but we've got loads downstairs. Did we eat the Naquium ingot train at some point? Without even noticing? I'm sure I saw Naquium ingots in motion here just earlier today. Where the heck is it? I see no Naquium ingot train. And it's not downstairs either. It could have just snuck through the space elevator right now, but I doubt it. What is going on here? Naquium ingots. Did we really kill the Naquium ingot train somehow? When would that have happened? Do we want to redesign this as well? We obviously, like, slapped some stuff together after our bottlenecks changed. I don't think it gets much better than this for Naquim, Ingot, and Plate, though. Unless we desperately want to have... Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We did put Naquim Ingots on the other system. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to... We need to turn this into an LTN Naquim Ingot Requester, and I could get rid of this. Actually, scrap that. We can do one better. Maybe we'll refactor this just for the, uh, the look of it. Yeah, I thought it was quite odd that the uh, Arcosphere stuff was completely caught up and very nicely balanced. But it wasn't. It was a lie. But yeah, I've been procrastinating redesigning this for a while because if we're going to reach our target, we're going to need more than one machine um, for each of these data card builds. How many more machines are we going to need, though? A lot. With tier 6... Okay, that's not a wide beacon 2, but with tier 6 modules of wide beacon 1, it's a tenth of the speed that we're looking for. Theoretically. Alright. Where is that wire going? Why does the wire need to be attached to these inserters with that that don't have a condition on them. Don't know and it doesn't matter now. Alright, so you are now a requester. I guess I can copy the no 
You're requesting Naquium ingots. We don't need this. We don't need this. Long trains only should be fine. Ten hundred times two. Two train loads. That should be all it takes. And I'm just going to pick these up manually because otherwise the train will take it. Alright. No, yeah, just like that. This is kind of slow though. Okay, fine. We'll have the train pick this up. And no doubt the bots will get stuck and confused. Where's our train? Oh, it must still be picking up the... There it is. There she blows. And there go our... Naquium plate. Or more importantly, perhaps... Uh, Naquium cubes. Science has stopped, just a few percent after I commented that it was remarkable that it wasn't stopped. What are we short on? Material 4? We don't need that for this one. Deep space? No. Oh. Why do we have no logistic tech cards? I thought we were struggling to empty the old builds here. Okay, something's weird. Oh, there's just a little bit too... This one is empty. Did I not, like, activate this one? Well, there's your problem. I switched this off. So that should have LTN picking up logistic tech cards in just a moment. There we go. Cool. That means we can get rid of this mess. Might be... I don't, I don't like having... Actually, can I steal one of these trains? Where are you going? Oh, you're doing something else. Because this, sta this station name is wrong. That's... That's not great. Um, but yeah, I want to get rid of these logistic tech cards, but this system only takes up an exact train load full, otherwise things get messed up with some of the builds. So... Why don't we grab a construction train? Park it over here. And just put some temp belts in. Apple belt. Uh, some more of that. Yes, we can squeeze this in here. How far does that go? Purple belts are superb. And we'll just put a splitter over here. Just like that. And just like that. There we go. All right. Why? Oh, right. It looks like the items are going to the right because of the frequency, but it's actually going to the left. It's just how fast this belt is. 90 items per second. And considering we let ourselves run out of 
uh, logistic tech cards upstairs. We should get this emptied out in relatively short order. Let's get the deconstruction train in position. And then we can finally clear out this block. That's weird to see in a video game, right? Alil, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, I guess I should do the same direct belt shenanigans to drain out all this old stuff as well. Some of these haven't gotten down to one train load minus two items yet, but yeah, I probably should do that. Well, for the moment, uh, I guess we'll leave this here for now. I was going to say for the moment we'll clear this out, but I, I don't want the blank tech cards going back to the mall. That's going to be a tall order. I, I guess it's easier if we do just take them back to the mall. And we'll arrange something to bring these back here. Assuming that we bother. Get rid of these old power poles as well. Oops. And it's already almost half empty. Very good. Get rid of this first. I guess we don't need a train to come pick this up. And that'll be the end of that one. Now then, we've still got quite a lot of automation tech cards. We did switch off all of these constant combinators for the drop-offs of these things. Yeah, blank tech card has run out, basically. Spider research data is going to last a bit longer. Perhaps while we're bottlenecked on whichever science it is... Oh, here it comes. I was going to say maybe we could do some other research, but as long as we're missing one of the basics, uh, nothing's going to run. Ospec, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, uh, yeah, not the bottleneck I was expecting for science, so it remains to be seen what higher tier material we're not doing fast enough to do this indefinitely. What's your problem? Huh? Destination full. Why does this have a train limit? Why did that have a train limit? How did that have a train limit? And why was it zero? I don't understand. We, we placed that from this blueprint, right? It doesn't have a wire connected to it. No train limit. How did how did that happen? I don't understand. And just pick it up again. Bots are gonna get all confused. We'll just have to help them out.
Okay. Now, can we do better than this? Well, initially pretty clean build, and then it's kind of cobbled together. Let's redesign it from scratch. Right after we ride the train back. Because if I jump into the editor here, I'm going to jump out of the train. Copy paste from the old section below. Oh, when I was copying the station name, I remember that. Yeah. Schnitzky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, editor, let's clear this out, and I'm pretty sure for the Naquium cubes, we can't make these machines go faster. Yeah, there's no, there's no putting modules in a material fabricator. It's the exact speed and power cost that it's ever going to be. So we'll probably end up just copying this. But maybe we could do a little better with building this next to this, or maybe even... I doubt we could double this in the same block. How many of these machines do we have anyway? Um, I'm pretty sure they're way more than we need at this point. Cube. As product. I said as product. Oh, this is a recycling. What? Uh-oh. Um... Hold on. We're trying to make singularity data. Junk data cards and also cubes come out and cubes are inputs. We have to recycle the cubes. That's why we have swap chests. Oh, I see how it is. Oh, it's just because it's saturated. Yeah, without a filter, we're, take, we're putting everything into these chests. And then we're filtering out everything but the cubes onto the belt. And the only reason that it's stuck is because it's it's done its job. Okay, that's fine. But these are not what we're looking for as far as product Naquium Cube is concerned. Uh, these first two builds were what we naively thought would be enough for quite a while. That's only six. And we've got 12 over here. 12 is capable of 4.8 per second, 288 per minute, or was that, okay, quite a lot per hour. Uh, how many cubes have we been using? Last 50 hours? Less than 30 per minute? Last 10 hours? Wait, what? It's a lot more in the last 50 hours. I guess we've been... Vibin. I don't know if this is representative of how fast we're going to need to go, though. Oh, Crank, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Now, the solution to this wild estimate process is to actually factory plan the entire thing, but I'm not doing that for space exploration. No, thank you. Um, but suffice to say at 288 per minute and last 50 hours has been less than 30 per minute I guess we just had to catch up last 10 hours less than 6 per minute last 1 hour 
well, I don't think one hour is a very good representation. But yeah, apparently we don't need that much Naquim cube processing. It's just that we had a huge lot of catch-up to do to start with. I don't entirely trust that, to be perfectly honest. Mmm, ketchup, indeed. Alright, well, maybe... I don't know, maybe we could do a succinct little build like this. And just build it down here or somewhere. And shut this one down and see if it's good enough over time. I have my doubts. All right, so floor, uh, not floor, space, platform, plating. We're just going to remove the excess when we're done. We're going to need at least one space manufacturing, uh, and we need another, no, we don't need another machine. We just need like a swap container, right? For the, for the heavy bearings. Yeah. So one of these, three of these, and everything that's needed to support it. And since we don't need the extra space for a vanilla train drop-off now, we could probably... This is the same size. Yeah, I'm sure we can make something a lot more... a lot more elegant this time. So we could either do them side by side... Or maybe kind of put them together and almost direct insert? Nope. What do you mean, nope? Who gave you permission? Alright, uh, so we're going to do direct insert just like that. Uh, we're only looking for heavy bearing... Wait, 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 wait. Since we're doing... Okay, is this legal? Since we're doing the initial drop-off just with LTN uh, of the ingots and the heavy bearings, couldn't we literally just have the drop-off as the swap chest? It depends on whether... It depends on whether the inserters will keep putting the heavy bearings back in here, taking turns to keep it balanced. Uh, I suspect they will. We should probably find out. Alternatively, we could, like, put it through a splitter, but there's no way to make that symmetrical. Let's do a pickup station. Nice and close. And, and I guess over here, it's probably, hmm, I don't know actually, where, what's it called again? The fab, the fabricator. I guess we could put them like here. Take directly from these. But then the only issue is balancing these for the, uh, the trains that may pick them up. Maybe we just count on saturation to balance. And I guess we could do the uh, particle stream drop-off up here as well. The particle stream is quite slow. 14.4 per second. We could even probably just put that there. And 
some space pipe. Wait, does that... Are you one tile off lining up? Rude. Very rude. How about... How about this? Of course, the underground pipe is not going to be long enough. But I guess we could just do this. That actually looks pretty decent. Oh, I almost forgot. We need this to reach over here. What? And a couple of pieces of pipe like that. And like this. Tyranno fantastic. Fantastic. Dada Gnome, thank you very much for the 16 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Dino Dance, indeed. And Casmith, thank you very much for the follow as well. So we can't uh, module these, and I guess we're going to have to do some belt shenanigans like this. Since we don't have diagonal inserters or anything. And then... I could just limit this to... Maybe a little bit more than one cargo wagon on each side. How about this? 60 stacks on each side. Provide stack threshold 120. And short trains allowed. And this can consume from there. That looks a lot neater than if we just put these over here and direct belt across, I think. Uh, and then we would need a pickup for the cubes as well. Pylon substation is kind of in the way. Uh, I guess I could put it down here, actually, since we don't need a side. If, if this works, uh, we won't need a side station for uh, dropping off the bearings. Can we fit our train there? We can, it's just that it's going to block this one. But with a stack size of 8 for the Naquim cubes and 10 for the Naquim plate... I don't think we have to worry that much about train traffic here in any case. Also, we could put a signal here if we re really want to. So this will block this, but it, we won't have a train here for very long. Um, and then... Could do the old delivery cannon balancer. Using it for a 3x3 three three chest. That is what we were doing with Necrim Cubes. The only trouble with that... ...is we can only accumulate 1.4 train loads. And these get produced at only 1.2 per second. I don't like that, but... Do we need to have short trains pick up the Necrim... I think so. Maybe. Let's look at Naquim Cube uh, ingredient. Mole stuff doesn't count. Uh, this is long train. Wait, did we not? Oh, we did. It's right here. We did refactor the solar panels. Uh, this is also a long train. Uh, 
that is short train, but it doesn't have to be. We can always put another bulk rail unloader over here. Although I guess the short trains dropping some things off would end up dropping uh, used up space train power packs into the system. Wouldn't be a fan of that. This is also a long train. I mean, we're planning on refactoring this anyway, so maybe... Maybe we use that as an excuse. This is also... This is definitely short train. I don't want to do another... Another unloader up here. Doesn't really fit anyway. Okay, so we kind of need short trains to be able to take the Naquim cubes. Which rules out having a giant container here with a splitter or something. I guess we could just limit... We, we could do the old limit one of these and push from one to the other thing. Since we're already like belting this over this way anyway. Kind of still want to use the fancy belt. It's a little easier to see the cubes on it anyway. But if we're pushing this at 90 per second with stack size 8... Hmm... I wish I had exact numbers on how long it takes to load the trains with the max upgrade of... Uh, insert a stack size bonus, etc. Which does affect the bulk rail loaders, because there's just invisible inserters in these things. Because then we could do the math and figure out exactly where to put this limiter. So that we could just set this to stack size 100, uh, provide stack threshold 100, and cubes would get pushed from here to here, and it would line up just perfectly. with no wasted time. But since, uh... Since we're pushing 11.25 stacks per second, um, I think we can probably just let, like, 20 stacks accumulate here, and that should be fine. Michelle, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't you have to filter the output to the belt? Yes, good catch, thank you. Okay, so that's plate. And also to this container as well. Uh, not the yellow one. Alright, so that is bearing. And the experiment that I'm going to want to run here is this. I guess we could just double this. And then we're going to remove the filters, the infinity filters. Toss all of these contents in here. And we're going to have a nice symmetrical 75 bearings in each. That's... Uh... Well, the bearings come back 95% of the time. We're going to consume all these Naquim ingots. Um, and double check that it comes back balanced. Let's give it some speed. Oh wow, how fast can this spit out? Almost 180 per second. We don't have a beacon here yet. Let's do a compact beacon DOS. And I imagine we could do 180 per second with just like tier 6 modules or something. That was fast. Uh, why have we got 30 heavy bearings on one side? 
and 69 on the other. That's not nice. That's... that's not good at all, actually. Okay, is this a problem? Um... Because normally we'd want to request like one and, one and a half or two train loads of ingots. How fast can we eat the ingots? 2.5 per... no. We're gonna want... Hmm. I don't think this is gonna be running full speed all the time or anything, but... Let's, let's just efficiency this up. 3200... 6 megawatt... 400 kilowatt. How fast is this? Faster than two dark belts. That's fine. Hon Hon? Wait, what? Uh, so we're going to want to like either do the math and figure out if it doesn't matter if all the heavy bearings end up on one side. Or spit the heavy bearings out and then balance them back into here. If we had a swap chest here, then it'd just consume these slower as well. Actually... I just don't want to split it because it's not going to be symmetrical. This, this would anger Symmetria. That, that's why I'm trying to figure out a way around it. That's the only problem. Why do they have to be balanced? Uh, because we don't want the trains getting jammed. Uh, because one container's too full. But if we're bringing, like... Let's say we're bringing th up to three train loads of Naquim Inga, which is probably more than we need to worry about. How fast can this go? 20 per second. Uh, that would be two stacks of Naquim Inga per second, which means a train every 50 seconds, right? That's not actually as bad as I imagined. So if... Uh, 320... Technically, we can fit six train loads of stuff here if it stays perfectly balanced. But if we're only looking for like three, if we go for like a train load and a half of each, or even. Heavy bearings don't get consumed that fast. One per second, and they stack to, fif to 50. Okay, so let's say we're down to 200 heavy bearings. Um. Before we request more. And... This here, actually. Naquium ingot. Uh, 1000 times 2, or 3. Okay, so 200 stacks of ingot. Uh, 104 stacks of heavy bearing maximum. If all of the heavy bearings were in this side, we'd have 320 minus 104. We'd still have 216 stacks left over in this container alone. I don't think we need to worry. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we could probably bump this up a little bit just to be safe. And we'll also have... A I was going to say we'll also have the same station for particle stream. I was about to go back on that, potentially, just because we don't want too much traffic on one station. Also because this lines up pretty well. Maybe that would be a bit cleaner. I might do it just, just for that reason. as nicely as that fit together as well. Can we fit one of these? 
It's a little bit hard to see what I'm doing here. Uh... Yeah, that would fit. Although this would look a little awkward. That's fine. It just makes it a little awkward trying to fit this over here. Oh, I guess that's okay too. Okay. Can't really see it anyway. That's that's a bit neater. And the train picking up the cubes is going to take like a second or three. So we're going to have a combined station here, both a requester and a provider. Provide stack threshold, 100. That's for the solids. Request, thre uh, request threshold, 60k. And we're going to be looking for 100k particle stream. So it'll trigger a trigger a request when we're down to 40k, which is going to last quite a while here. Seems good. Uh, let's see. Particle stream, requester. Um, Naquim cube. Na Naquim cu cube. Provider. That seems fine. Don't really feel like the need to put the material fab icon in there. Um, that seems good, actually. This is just plate provider. I guess I could always... You know what? So many of the plate goes to cubes. I think we could just unlimit this and then set the provide threshold so that there's at least 370 stacks. Or maybe a little bit more. Which means that there's at least 50 stacks on each side. That should be fine. This one is requester, Naquim ingot, bearing, goes into manufacturing, out comes plate. I like this quite a bit better than what we had. All right, station names are all done. Uh, let's get rid of some of the extra floor. And tidy it up a little bit. Uh... I think those holes are a little bit unsightly. We do not need floor under the lighted pylon. And fill that in. Fill that in. I guess fill this in as well. I don't really like the... The mini beacon just kind of hovering like that. Oops. Hmm. Wait, we can't fit it on that. Does, 
there's no like center tile if we do it like this. And this is probably going to feel too big. Or we just can't put it here without it looking weird so that it reaches. Yeah, no. Okay, let's just like put it here or something. This is fine. And we'll copy that on the other side. Just for the symmetry. I kind of want it over here, actually. Okay. Looking pretty good. How much plate can this spit out? Two... Well, 180 per second because of the belts. Uh, this only needs 14.4 per second. 1.272 Naquim cubes per minute. And we already established. Naquim cubes after over the last X many hours. We've only been looking for 30... Uh, and that's about as as high as it goes. Well, this was like 394 per minute, but it was very brief. What has priority? Plates or cubes? Uh, cubes, I suppose, yeah. I mean, you could hardwire some stuff for that, but most of the consumption of plate is done through cubes anyway, I think. And certainly, for science, you need cubes anyway. Cubical plates or plated cubes? Who knows? Yeah, I guess uh, let's build this thing. Oh, let's blueprint it first. Did we name all the stations? We did. Did we do LTN settings? Let's leave the request is switched off until we've built the thing. Uh, blueprint. Naquium plate, Naquium cube. Eighty six twenty five one. I think we already got rid of our cheat inputs, right? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. And I guess this can go here. All right. So we're going to build this separate to the existing block. And might just put it here, actually. And we'll switch off the other one for a time and see how it goes. Construction train over here. Floor train over here. And that should be done shortly. Here comes our train. Wanted to make a plate slash flat joke, but it doesn't work in English. Plate slash flat joke. Was it going to be a pun? You wouldn't do that to me tumbling, would you? Alright, here we go. Flat means both flat and plate in French. I see what you did there. Why do we not have... Oh, the bots are being weird. 
Wait, don't tell me they're flying across the map. No? Bulk rail unloader. Oh, why do we not have bulk rail loaders? Why do we not have bulk rail loaders? Material fabs I'm less surprised by. Also, why do we not have more... Why is this stack split? Okay, construction train, get reset. And I think this time I'll just grab the... Uh, the material fabricators. That way we don't have to reprogram the requests for the train. I would have gotten it. That makes at least one of us. Two, if you count the perpetrator. I mean... The, the teller of the joke. Okay, cube, round about here. I think I may have forgotten to wire the... Yeah. I forgot to tell LTN about the fluid that we have when they drop it off here. Because we moved this. Where's our train? I wonder if I could make a system that would load the train much faster. This version doesn't have it, but you can use loaders to load directly in or out of cargo wagons. If I had a system that used inserters to throw a bunch of items onto the belt, uh, and it was much bigger, hopefully not too much bigger, maybe we could tr load the train quite a bit faster. It would have to count items that it's putting onto the train, though, instead of just read the train. Because of the lag while the items are on the belt. Okay, are we just about done here? Fantastic. Down we go. Should probably clean up that mess over there. Oh, hey, we got it. We almost reached 40% on Mining Prod 6. Uh, 16, rather. And it's still going. And we still haven't reached the threshold to deliver Material Science 4, but to be fair, that threshold should be 50,000. 50 stacks. It's going to take a minute. Are we actually short on Heavy Composite? Looks like it. Heavy composite might need a bit of an overhaul, kind of like we did with uh, with Aeroframe Bulkhead. I think we already did do like a final version of it over here, though. We should probably go put Prod 9s in these. That's kind of important. Some of the most resource-dense items in the game right here. And we haven't upgraded them. We'll do that next. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's switch this sucker on. And switch off this one. And this one. Wait a sec. I for <laughs> I forgot the nanomaterial and vulcanite blocks. Oh no. 
Well, there's no way we're squeezing that in with this cute little quarter block here. Uh, that's... that's unfortunate. The trains are coming as well. I'm 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 gonna have a long think about what I've done. It's about time to finish for today anyway. Let's find someone to raid. Back to the drawing board, indeed. I mean I could just add a train stop to bring those items, but like it kinda defeats the whole purpose of this cute little build. What do you get when you combine Truth and snack effect Oreo. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Who, who we raided in today? We've raided Mr. Dane quite a bit recently. Is there anyone else doing SE? Perhaps? Not that I can see at a glance. What if we broaden things a little bit? Mr. Dane is solid choice. Yeah, that's why we rate him too much. Nah, he's fine. It's just I, w I like to spread things out a little bit, you know? Frontier with Mucky, but I don't see Mucky streaming. Did Mucky stop streaming? Or is he having some issues for the moment? Alright, fine. Let's do Mr. Dane today. Seems Mucky stopped. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. A knife is a great tool for spreading stuff around. Okay. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Probably see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Here you go. Okay, um, gotta make sure that there's... <laughs>